Hello, I am Ram Gopal from presentationprocess.com. In this edition of PowerPoint Smart Art tutorial series, you will learn about a common mistake made by presenters when choosing their Smart Art diagrams. Let us take this text-based slide for example and see how the text got converted into a Smart Art diagram. What do you think about this diagram? The diagram illustrates one of the common mistakes made by presenters when choosing their smart art diagrams. The mistake is not deciding on where to lay emphasis for their diagrams. Not all smart art diagrams are the same. Some lay emphasis on the images. Some lay emphasis on the title or level 1 text. And some lay emphasis on level 2 text. In this case, since there was no decision made on where to lay emphasis on, the result is this diagram where the image placeholders are so small that you hardly can see the images. The title, the titles are vertically oriented so you can't read them clearly and level 2 text is so small that the last person sitting in the last row hardly can read what is written on the slide. Let us go to the text based slide and try to convert this using different types of smart art diagrams and I'll show you the impact of choosing different types of diagrams. First, let us select all the text here. Right click, go to convert to smart art option, go to more smart art graphics because we don't want to settle for the default options. And since we want to illustrate a list, I'm going to search for options under list tab. The first type of diagrams are these where there is a lot of emphasis given to level 1 text or the title. Now when you choose these type of diagrams, the result is this. All you see is these ugly bands and level 2 text is pretty much lost in the whole uh, diagram. Unless and otherwise, you have fewer groups with a lot of level 2 text and preferably longer title you don't use these kind of diagram types. Let us try to change the layout. Let us go back once again to the list options and let us show you, let me show you another type of uh, diagrams. This one called picture caption list or any of these lay a lot of emphasis on the images here. If you were to choose this layout, then this is what you get. As you can see here, a lot of emphasis is given to the images and very little emphasis is given to the text here. Usually when you, when you choose these type of diagrams, you don't include any level 2 text. When you use this diagram, use this as an orientation slide and then elaborate on the individual elements in separate slides. So that is how you use these type of diagrams. Unless you want to draw a very strong emotional connect you don't use these kind of diagrams to illustrate business models. Let us try to change the layout here. Okay, I'm going to click here, go to change layout. And the option I would like to talk to you about now, the third type of option is this one. Here you can see a lot of emphasis given to level 2 text. And there's a title which snugly fits in the, the width of the level 2 text and if you choose this diagram type this is what is the result as you can see here this one seems to be pretty appropriate for our purposes you can see the level 2 text very clearly and level 1 text summarizes the content in the level 2 text so that is how you want to choose your diagrams if you want to make this diagram look even more beautiful go to change colors and under colorful option choose the one that seems to uh, appeal to you more and then go to one of the smart art styles and make the diagram look very beautiful. So we converted this busy looking text based slide into this interesting looking pestle analysis diagram slide. Let me show you some orientation slides taken from our PowerPoint CEO packs which can be used for pestle analysis illustration and we have animated each of the six factors here. Normally, whenever you use these type of slides, you use this diagram purely to orient the audience's mind to the subject and then elaborate on these points individually later on in your uh, presentation. 
Here is another example where we have tried to divide pestle analysis into two sections. Here is a third example of pestle analysis where we have elaborated on or expanded on the six factors here which happen to be political, economic, social, technological, environmental and legal factors. If you are a busy business presenter who doesn't have the time to create such elaborate gra graphics for yourself, you can always take a look at off-the-shelf solutions like our PowerPoint CEO Packs Volume 1 and 2. The two CEO Packs are more than 1,600 fully editable charts and graphics for CEOs and business presenters. Just choose the template that matches your thought and replace the sample text with your own text and your business slides get ready in no time. Hope you liked our tutorial. If you want to learn more such tutorials, please visit us at presentationprocess.com. There are tons of useful articles and videos to help you improve your presentation skills and PowerPoint skills. Thanks a lot for watching the video and happy presenting.